uh, welcome back everyone so let's talk about the prop type in react so what the prop type we are using the prop type is actually checking the strict check for the props we are getting from the parent component to the child component and it is better to have a prop type in your each and every component so there is no kind there is no issues with the data population right so it will not be a problem when you are passing some dummy data or some wrong type to the child component it will break right so you should have a strict type checking using the prop types in your component for whatever the props you are getting from the parent one okay so virtual dom is we already know and this is one of the good questions which you will face every time so it is actually lightweight representation of a dom optimized dom which is in the memory which keep track of uh, whenever you update the state object it recompute the dom and it apply those changes on the actual dom so it is actually doing a reconciliation process in the background of the react and using the algorithm to optimize that okay so how do you put a class either you use a class name or either you use a inline style inline style is not the appropriate way you can use a post css for that because post css is providing you the way to create a style object and import them and provide the those styles in your component itself inline style means you are providing the css in the component jsx itself like using the style tag another way of doing it is just using the class name uh, that will be here yeah so we we, do, we cannot use a class attribute in the react because that is already a keyword in the esx so we are using the class name for it okay so react dom react dom is another because earlier react was the only single library now react and react dom those are two library react dom is actually re -rend rendering the component or mounting the component on the dom node okay so how we can access a particular dom node uh, for underlying component there is a method react dom dot find dom node it is providing you the typical way to access a particular node what is a react context it is experimental api that allows you to pass the data down to the child component or any grandchild component directly without having use of props this is new concept and introduced in 16 version only or 16 react context is providing you the way to pass the data down to your last child or something you don't need to use the props for that okay so class attribute we have already seen so uh, why it is not a good idea to modify your component state directly rather than call set state so there are some optimization around to use of set state method for example multiple call of uh, set state method uh, we can batch that process like you are writing a component and uh, from 10 different dom events from each and every dom event you are calling the set state so it is not optimized design there should be some mechanism where you can consolidate some dom event and you try to reduce the set state method because set state is expensive you cannot see it because your your view is being rendered by 60 frame per second but whenever you do the set state your parent is re-rendered your child is re-rendered all your grandchilds are re-rendered so you say set state uh, with concern that okay so here i can put set state and it, it will be fine then only use the set state efficiently okay so when we uh, how do you prevent the default behavior when handling the actions so we always put e dot prevent default on the synthetic events because there is an event bubbling or event capturing capturing happens so either you do the event e, e dot stop propagations or e dot prevent default okay so what is one common way a component can efficiently hide itself you can return the null from that uh, render function in that way you will hide your because you are not returning any jsx component but render function should be there in each and every component you can return null from there so it will it is something like you are hiding that component from the ui layer 